What's up guys, Gabriel Varga here. Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite punch, my favorite shot, my favorite way to attack somebody, a body hook. And we're gonna talk about why maybe you're not having success landing it. What I do to make sure that I'm capable of landing the shot, but not always getting countered, not worried about getting knocked out. So today I'm gonna to give you guys a whole bunch of tips and pointers on how to make that body shot more successful. All right guys, tip number one for a body shot is you don't always want to have to be throwing it at this distance. From this distance here, I'm essentially in the pocket. I have my gloves against my opponent's gloves and it's very difficult to land here because when somebody shells up, they're not very open. They're able to cover their head and their body at the same time. And we want to find the body when the hands are up a little higher or the hands are away from the head. So to do that, we don't want to always be right here where we're trying to rip shots in on an area that's already protected. We want to be doing it from out here, where their big concern is the straight punches, those long straight punches. So if you're always throwing your body hooks like this, it's time to realize that you can throw your body hook with a longer arm. Now what I'm doing here with my wrist, I'm just taking my arm. See, if I bend my elbow only and I keep my glove completely locked, it's very difficult for me to reach and still hit with my knuckles. So what I do is I bend slightly through the wrist so now, when before I would be landing with my fingers, now I can turn and land with my knuckles. And this is something that I've been super successful with. I don't always throw from very tight. I wanna be able to tap, tap, and then come with the body shot after. So getting that extension through the arm is very, very important. And the easiest way to practice this is just set yourself up in front of a bag, throw jab, cross, body hook. I'm gonna go jab, cross, and body all down low because this bag protrudes out a little bit so it's not as good for practicing this. So if I set myself up and I go one, two, three, I now know that I can throw all three shots. It doesn't matter if my opponent stands his ground and I don't have to worry about moving my feet. So I just set up in the bag and I practice that motion over and over. One, two, three. One, two, three. And what I'm trying to do normally is I'm using the jab cross to draw their guard up and then I put the third shot down low. Now that very quickly will lead us into when we hit here, what's open? What's the danger? Because I can have my cross hand protecting my head. So I'm not worried about a counter hook from him. What I am worried about is a cross. If I have one, two here, he blocked with his left hand and now he starts to throw his right as I throw my left. Yes, I'm gonna get caught. So there's a couple things I can do here if I feel like this hook is constantly getting me countered on the jaw. And the first one is drawing that shoulder a little closer to your jaw as you throw your body hook. It's not one, two, way down here, chin up, shoulder low. One, two, three, chin down, shoulder up. And the difference here is when I come like this, I'm very open. When I draw my chin down and my shoulder up, I've protected just a little bit there. Now that's not enough to completely close off your head as a target, but it does help protect your jaw. And you have to remember that if somebody throws a big cross out, what's open on them? It's gonna be that body. So what I've learned with the body hook, and this is a key essential tactic to landing this and actually implementing damage, I have to throw really hard, and sometimes it's better to give a body hook and take a light cross, because you guys know how bad it hurts to get hit to the body. So if I come into the bag and I go, one, two, pop, little pitter patter shot, and then I get countered with a hard cross that's terrible for me. But if I go one, two, and I rip my shot in, and I hit the guy as he's extended out, his cross is gonna lack power. So as I just said, sometimes it's just about committing to that body hook and making sure that you're protecting yourself to the best of your abilities, but at the same time knowing that if I do land this shot, his cross isn't gonna have any power behind it anyway. So, so far we have, make sure you get used to throwing long straight punches and then follow up with your body hook. Number two, make sure that your shoulder is drawing into your head to make sure that you're protecting as best possible that entire head region but know that you need power behind your shot because even if the guy goes to counter you and you land that body hook first, he's not gonna have much of a counter there for you. And now the final thing we're gonna talk about today, guys, is when you finish your body hook, you wanna right away be thinking defensively. We don't wanna go one, two, three, and then just keep throwing unless we see the opening. 
So we want to be able to get that hand back to the chin very quickly. So I can't go one, two, three, and bring my hand back to here because now I'm way too open for way too long. It needs to be one, two, three, back to the head. And really this body hook is not too much different than a head hook if I pull it right back to my jaw. Basically, however quick your hand goes out, it needs to come back even faster. All right guys, I will be sure to do a really in-depth tutorial on the body hook. Again, my favorite punch, I love this one. But for today, those are some tips for you there. You can start working on those three things. Number one, make your body shot longer sometimes. Number two, work on the defense aspect. And then number three, work getting your hand right back to your head and having that defensive mindset as soon as your punch lands. If you can work and remember to do all three of those when you're sparring or in your fight, you are fairly safe throwing that body shot. And people get scared of body shots. And when they get scared of body shots, they don't throw as much. And that's one of the great elements of a body shot. It makes other people less willing to throw and leave their body open. So they become a less offensive fighter, which in turn makes it even better for you just to keep hunting with those body shots. All right guys, remember next time you're checking out new gloves, you're thinking about grabbing some Hayabusa gear, use the link in the description below. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't already, get subscribed and I'll see you back here soon for another episode.